What's up guys, RP Gabby 8 here with just a quick update on uh, some new kits that I got and you know projects I'll be starting soon. I'm still working on my uh, autism awareness contest build. I'm waiting for them to send me a um, the missing parts. I got a hold of them and they apologize and say you know sometimes it does happen but they're on their way so I'm just waiting on that. I'm still debating on the chassis or what kind of chassis I'm going to do with it and then um, kind of just start piecing this together. I uh, still got to order some stuff from um, Coast Airbrushing but that will be on its way. I don't know if I'm going to be able to complete both of those, um, the Tahoe and the Impala, but for sure I'm going to do the Tahoe because um, that's my main contest entry and then um, that's it. So. I just want to share with you guys what I got today at Hobby Lobby. Um, and then, of course, I don't know if some of you guys know, but they are selling kits at Walmart again. So I, I went in there the other day and grabbed a kit. But uh, let me show you what I scored today. I've got the 49 Mercury. Awesome kit. I love it. Um, the 48 Ford Custom Coupe. Also, I've never painted with model master I seen these two colors and I just had to grab them they are turn signal amber metallic um, so I'm gonna use those I'm real curious to see what this kits like I know I think dr. Cranky's built some um, I haven't opened this kit to see what it's like but I'm excited to get on that one um, I have built one of these and actually it's still sitting on the shelf that I might restrip the paint off of and uh, you know reshoot and get it back together um, the only trouble is with that I did a lot of body work on it and Dr. Cranky you know that once you put that stuff in the purple pond um, you use the purple pond I use um, dot three it does take off the body work the, the the putty that you use I have no idea why it does that and I hate it I hate it I hate it but uh, those are two I got today as well as the 55 uh, Bel Air. Uh, the price on this, $863. I couldn't beat that, so I grabbed it. Um, I didn't second chance it. I've never built one of these. So I'm excited to see what that's like. Then my girlfriend picked up the 69 Camaro. Um, this is what she's going to build, start building. Um, she has built one before um, I think the 72 Chevelle she did some of you guys may have seen her video um, it's an older video but this is gonna be her second kit so I'm excited to get her started with that and then uh, this is what I grabbed from Walmart the other day it's definitely not my style um, but I have great big plans for this thing a lot of uh, body work so you guys look out for that one and then the only thing I've done to that is added the diesel axle to it and cut out the back end to get ready for the C notch and it's just kind of sitting there I added a you can't even tell because the way it's sitting but I got a front a different kind of front tire on it because I was going to do the deep dish in the front but I found a tire to you know to go on this one so I'm not going to do it and then plus the way that I'm going to do the and the exhaust coming out, um, I don't have enough room for a deep dish in the front like that, so um, that's that. I, I did a little bit of you know body work on this, not even body work, just added the putty. I gotta smooth it out um, and then get ready for the mesh grill that I'm gonna be putting behind it. And that's all I've got so far, guys. I just wanted to show you my new kits that I've got. I'm really excited to, you know, check out this 48. Um, I love the 49. I will be adding these skirts onto it. Um, not that grill. The other grill it comes with. Let's see if I got it on the side. Sorry, guys, if I'm shaking everywhere. Um, but anyways, that's what I got so far. I just wanted to be in the loop and... Let you guys know that I've been watching all your videos and uh, great build going on out there. My computer is acting crazy again. Um, so I'm watching them from my cell phone again. 
which sucks. But anyways, um, keep building, guys. Thanks for the comments. I love the comments. I know there's one of you guys out there who's asking about how I do the front. Um, what is it called? The stance for the Dayton's. I'll show you guys that um, later on. And then you guys also asked about the clear effects. Let me show you the clear effects. You can get that at um, you can get that at AutoZone. And I found out that this doesn't, you know, make the best finish clear. But it does have its, you know, its little bling into it, as Dr. Cranky calls it. It's not the best, so what I do is just sand it down a little bit and go over it with clear. Um, I could be wrong. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. But when I, I know when I added this and try to call it a day, it, it dulled it real bad. Um, I don't know. Any questions, ask Dr. Cranky. You know, that guy knows how to use this stuff better than I do. But um, it's great. I love it. And then um, any other questions, you know, I, I really don't respond to my comments. It's a lot better if you guys want to know something. You just send me a message just because I do 90% of my YouTube through my cell phone. So it's easier for me to do it, you know, reply on my cell phone through a message than it is a comment. So you guys got any, <clears throat> any questions, just go ahead and... Uh, Send me a message and I'll be more than happy to, you know, uh, uh, answer them for you. But uh, till next time, guys, great builds. Too many videos for me to keep up with, but I'm trying. And uh, I'm going to enjoy the rest of my day off and get some model building done. I'm off tomorrow, so I will get some building. Um, and that's about it, guys. So take it easy.